Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, and today is our 17th day of remote learning. And today I'm gonna to show you our number 17 in tens frames. I want you to think how many tens frames that would take. I drew some tens frames with us. How many tens frames did it take? Two. And I see that we have three empty boxes. So that tells me that we need three more to make it to our next 10. Hmm, what is our next 10? 20, we need three more to make it to 20. I also wrote the number 17 so you can see. We have one 10 and we have seven more ones. Today is going to be a very, very busy day for me. I am going to be busy listening to people who want to be our next music teacher at Garden Heights. And those are called interviews. So I'm gonna be asking um, people questions that want to be our next music teacher at Garden Heights. So today I won't be available for video chatting, but if you have questions, you can have somebody type a message to me in the Hangout or you can send me an email and I will try and reply in between the meetings that I have today. So you have some jobs. You have a countdown lesson today, boys and girls, and you are practicing some heart words. Boys and girls, these are words that you probably already know, but it just gets us set up to learn some more, more difficult words. You have a read aloud from Mrs. Hernandez, and the character in the story is Beatrice, and I think you might have already heard this story. It's one of my favorite ones, and it's about something that Beatrice doesn't want to do. For math today, you're gonna to keep working on understanding subtraction. So you are going to be drawing pictures that match some subtraction expressions like four minus one and four minus two. I would like you to check on your C project and see how it's going. If you did not do your data page from yesterday, a drawing of what your seed looks like, you can work on that today, but make sure that it has enough water and that you're observing any changes that are going on. Something that I'd like you to do today is I need you to get into your resource bag and there are two papers in there that are at the top, it says domino grab. So they look like this. I want you to cut out the dominoes. So when you're cutting them out, boys and girls, I want you to be careful that you keep the dominoes together. So what I like to do is cut all the way across the top. So then I end up like this. This is actually two dominoes, not four, it's two. So then you will cut around the domino and you can put it in one of the bags that I put inside of your big bag. So you should have another Ziploc bag. So this is one domino. Don't cut in the middle. You got to keep it as a piece. Set it aside and then you can cut out the next one. Everybody should have scissors because I put a pair of scissors in your first resource bag and these dominoes are in your second bag I gave you. So you should end up with a bunch of these dominoes that we are gonna use for math. There isn't an assignment in classroom. This is just something that I need you to do. You also have a word practice lesson where we're learning some new um, word wall words that I want you to be able to spell in sentences. We have something to look forward to this week. On Thursday, we will have another Zoom classroom meeting. It was so much fun to see your faces that joined us. I will post a picture of uh, the Zoom meeting that we had last week. As you're posting the Flipgrid, make sure that you're telling me what you're doing and explaining your thinking. I wanna hear all of the stuff that you're doing at home and give me lots and lots of details. Boys and girls, it's going to be a great learning day and I am excited to see all the things you're doing. Ready, set, learn.